going through my senior year has been like really more like difficult and tough, uh, especially without having both of your parents there to help support you throughout your journey. But I've been able to persevere like through that. I'm Aaliyah Anderson and I just graduated Indymet class of 2022. Before I came to the school, about a year ago, my father has passed. And since then, I've been like visiting his grave and doing all things that he would like, like want me to do, like go to prom and make more friends and be more out there. Aaliyah came to Indymet High School with a couple of barriers. Um, our high school is a best fit high school for students that are experiencing barriers. So it was a great fit for her. She had recently lost her father and her mother was out of the country and has been for a while. So Aaliyah was coming in as her own guardian. So there was that barrier of logistics, finances, and then had to navigate the college admissions process as an independent student. So with no parent or guardian participating in that. She had great family support coming in. Her aunt brought her in to enroll. And then unfortunately her aunt passed away a couple of months after that initial enrollment appointment. So another loss. Galia really embodies the resilience and the strength and the determination that we want all of our students to have and like can showcase that for all of our Pumas so they can see like this is what a model Puma does. Does this one check to see if you have 98.9? The transition to Inmet has helped me make more friends than I have thought that I would and it just helped me with building up motivation. You know, we gotta ask each other questions about it and test each other's knowledge. I believe the school has helped Aaliyah grow as a person. Uh, she came in as a very shy student. Uh, she probably wouldn't have talked a lot in class at all. And now she's debating, she's participating, she's joining clubs and activities, making friends. Aaliyah is the kind of student who challenges herself. She's taking an additional year of math classes that she does not need to graduate, but she needs in order to be accepted into IU. She also is taking our dual credit college classes. So she'll be graduating from IndyMet with nine college credits from Ivy Tech. With my role being the social emotional instructor, a lot of what I do is like build emotional skills with students. And while I don't have Aaliyah in those small groups, I do have Aaliyah in GSA, which is our Gay Straight Alliance. And I've really been able to see Aaliyah like grow concrete skills like confidence and like the ability to share out and also practice like active listening and really like lend an ear to um, her fellow Pumas and be able to like really grow as a whole student, not just an academic student. Besides classes and prom, the only other activity that I've been actively like participating in would be um, the GSA, the Gay Stray Alliance. And having that around is like real impactful for other students too, to know that there's like a safe space that they can all go to. I think the future holds anything Aaliyah you know, wants to push herself towards. I think Aaliyah is one of the most capable students that I've had the pleasure of working with, and anything that she chooses to pursue is definitely in her cards. I think the future for Aaliyah will be very interesting because now that she has learned that she can adapt, only heaven knows where that creativity is going to take her. So we're looking forward to some good things. After graduation, I'm going to be heading to IU and getting my degree there as probably a videographer or a um, photographer.